In this lesson, we will discuss critical path. Every task is important, but only some are critical. What defines a critical path? Well, the critical path is the chain of linked tasks that directly affects the project finish date. That being said, if a task on the critical path is late, then the entire project is considered late. And you do not want to have to report a late project. So let's start by how do we see the critical path in our project. From here within our Gantt chart view, it's very simple that if you, within the Gantt chart tools format tab, you can simply select the checkbox for critical tasks. And then immediately you can see that a certain number of tasks within your project are highlighted in red. And those are your critical tasks. There's quite a few of them if you didn't notice. You can also see that this affects sub-projects as well. And we can turn that on or off later. I'll show you how to do that. So what about other views? Can I see the critical path in other views? Many people like to view their project in various views based on their needs. So let's talk about that. First, let's navigate to the calendar view. For those who wish to view their project using a calendar, there is a different way to show critical tasks. We can do this by navigating to the view tab. Once we're looking at our calendar, if you navigate to the view tab, and then there's an option for highlighting. It's in the data section in the middle of the view tab. Highlighting is the top option. And one of the preset options for highlighting is critical. Now, it doesn't appear with red taskbars, but instead highlights the critical tasks in yellow. As you can see here, there's quite a few critical tasks within our project. And in the calendar view, they're highlighted in yellow. So you can see right away what's considered critical from the calendar point of view. What about for those who prefer to view their project in a sort of visual overview? Let's navigate to the network diagram view. Well, first we'll turn off our critical highlighting here. And we'll navigate to the network diagram view. So we haven't quite looked at this view yet before now. But this is a great view for getting a sort of high level overview or sort of process chart of your project in action. The tasks that are crossed out are those which have been completed. And since we checked in a previous view that we want to show critical, those tasks are already highlighted in red. So you can see here where there's a branch off of a separate set of tasks that these are not necessarily critical and do not affect the finish date of the project. They're still important, but they do not affect the finish date. These tasks do, in fact, affect the finish date. So if they are late, then the project will be late. Of course, if you wanted to, you could zoom. It looks like we're zoomed all the way out. You could zoom in to see the specific information. And you can see as we zoom in that the details of our tasks are readable here. But again, zoom out to get a high level overview in the network diagram of your critical tasks. What about for people who like to see their tasks in a list? Let's navigate to the task sheet. This is our task sheet. It shows all of our tasks. We've seen it many times. If we want to view our critical tasks here, we can. We do this the same way by navigating to the View tab. And in the highlighting section, we would again choose Critical. Those tasks are highlighted just like they are in the calendar, only now they're in our table of tasks. And you can see that we have quite a few tasks that are critical. That's a high risk for our project that so many of our tasks are critical tasks. And you can see that some of them are already considered late. These all fall within our sub-project. So that's how we see the critical path in various views within Microsoft Project. Let's go back to our Gantt chart view. 
So we discussed previously that in our sub-project, within our master project, we're able to see that the critical path drives right through our sub-project. That may or may not be something you want to see or have going on in your master project. There is a way to enable, disable the critical path, including your sub-project or not. So here's what we do to affect this. In order for Microsoft to view your sub-project as summary tasks, which is what is necessary for it to be considered in the critical path, we have to tell Microsoft to view the sub-project as summary tasks. So we can do this by navigating to File, going down to Options. We'll select the Schedule menu item and we'll scroll to Calculation Options for this project. That's down here at the bottom. The option that is listed as Inserted Projects are Calculated like Summary Tasks is not checked. So we would check this if we want to ensure that Microsoft Project views our inserted subproject as a part of the master project when doing calculations such as critical path. We've checked that. We'll select OK. And now, rather than the simple project plan, including its own critical path for its own individual project, it now includes that as a part of the master project. I know you're not seeing much of a visual difference because the entire project was late previous on its own. Now it's considered a critical path inside the master project. Just a quick note about this setting that we just affected. It will only affect the project that you're working on when we affect the setting or when we check the box. It will not affect all future projects. You'll need to check or uncheck that box for future projects. So can we change the projects which appear on the critical path? Let's define how projects get on the critical path. Most of the time, critical tasks are tasks that have no slack, that is, no room for delay, which we'll cover in another lesson. But you can tell Project 2016 to include tasks that have more, one or more days of slack in order to help you see potential problems sooner. Let's talk about how to do that now. We'll do the same navigation. We'll go to File, scroll down to Options, We'll click on Advanced this time, Advanced, and we'll scroll down to Calculation Options for this project. Here, there's an option for Tasks are critical if Slack is less than or equal to, in this case, it's zero days. So if we affect this number, then as Slack becomes close to zero days, well currently as it's set now, when slack is equal to or less than zero, of course it can't be less than zero, but when tasks reach slack of zero, they become critical. That means that there any further delay, the task will become late. So you can affect this number, in which case when tasks have one day or less of potential delay, they become critical. This will help you to see tasks that have risk involved with them. So in other words, as tasks get closer to being late, currently they don't become critical until they have no possible delay. But if you change this number to say one day or two days, then as they get close to zero days delay, they will become critical on the critical path. This will help you to identify potential risk earlier rather than before it's too late or when there's no further delay option. I highly recommend that you keep this value at less than two days, ideally one or even zero if you want to do critical path analysis as it's meant to occur when there's zero days slack. For now we'll return it to zero but you can adjust this for your needs. And that completes this lesson on the critical path.